Hello and welcome back. This is problem B, frog 2 from Atkoda Educational DP contest. The problem states that there are n stones numbered from 1 to n for each i. The ith stone has height h of i, and there is a frog, frog who is initially on stone 1, and he will repeat the following action some number of times to reach the nth stone. The frog can jump to stone i plus 1 or i plus 2 all the way up to i plus k from the ith stone and the cost incurred in that jump is the absolute difference between the heights of the jumped stones so if the frog jumps from i to j in that case the cost incurred is this and we need to find the minimum possible total cost incurred until the frog reaches the nth stone the constraints for n k and heights are as follows now let's look at the transition jumps that can be possible when the frog is at some position i intermediate position and from there he can jump to index i plus 1 i plus 2 all the way up to i plus k uh, uh, as long as they are valid indices so the frog can uh, jump to a valid index j uh, all the way in the range i plus 1 to i plus k okay and there are individual costs incurred in this so here the cost would be the absolute difference h i and so on similar for the rest of the jumps this is the transitions that could be possible so these are the choices that are available for the frog now let's look at the cost which is given in the question again it is the absolute difference between the heights as mentioned in the question okay so the main idea for this problem is to start jumping uh, from some starting position i equals to 1 or starting index equals to 1 as a fixed in the problem statement Say we are currently at index i equals to 1 now we will try all possible jumps which are possible from index in index id and from there we will consider all possible jumps which is k in this case k jumps k choices available to the frog and consider the cost of that jump which would be from any index i to g and there would be some cost involved we will consider that and move on to the next position after that we will also consider whatever is left over from there so initially we were finding out the answer in this which denotes the minimum cost to go from i to n now we after we move on to the jet stone then it denotes the answer to minimum answer to from j to i and we want to find the minimum cost over both of them right now and after we have considered all the jumps and their individual cost which would be the costs from that particular index to the forward indexes and we will minimize the answer over all of those possible choices let's try to understand that in terms of a diagram so say we're initially at index i equals to 1 so we were at this index and we had some choices let's say k equals to 3 in that case we could have jumped to 2 3 or 4 
and there would have been this individual costs separate costs for them now this green portion denotes that the answer to go from 1 to n right since this is the starting position and we want to go from 1 to n and this green portion which is the outermost boundary denotes the best answer to go from 1 to n and if we made a jump let's say this is an example where we start at 1 and we make this jump as an example from 1 to 4 in that case the cost occurred would be the difference between the heights h4 minus h1 and we would end up at the fourth position now this red portion denotes the best possible answer that could be possible to go from fourth position to the last right now as you can see this denotes the answer to go from 1 to n and this denotes the answer to go from 4 to n hence there is an overlapping sub problem so let us also try to understand this more clearly let's say go of go of id denotes the minimum cost to go from id to n then if we started at index id equals to 1 this would be our final answer according to the definition of recurrence as we declared here now the red portion green portion denotes the value for the function go with starting position id equals to 1 and the red one denotes the function with starting position id equals to 4 now this will help us evaluate this choice of jumping from 1 to 4 by considering this cost plus so we want to evaluate this we consider the choice of that cost and evaluate the rest of the transition which would be from index 4 so this was the starting index we move on to the next index 4 and which becomes the parameter of the function which denote the answer from that position to the last so if we consider all of the three choices the first one was to jump to two second one to three third one to four and these are the individual cost required of those choices and over all of these choices we will try to minimize the answer over all choices okay. the states required for this recurrence is only the index because we only need to know what is the current index that we are currently at and based on that we will decide what should be the choices for the next indices all the way up to id plus k we will know this if only if we know what is the current position of our frog okay now the recurrence relation would be to let's say go of id denotes the best possible answer or minimum cost to go from id to n and this would be the minimum between all of the possible choices to go over all the indices j in this range id plus 1 to id plus k we had k choices available to us and the cost of that particular choice would be the difference between heights so h of g minus h of i as we saw 
plus the cost to go from j to the last so which would be go of j and this would be the recurrence relation which we need to solve now let's go over the c plus plus implementation for the same we take in input n and k and the heights of the array we fill the dp values with infinity which is the impossible value for a state so that we know which state is visited and which is not to evaluate the function so this is the starting position id equals to 1 now let's look at the recurrence function this is the index of uh, the position we are, which we are currently at and if we are at the last position base case that means we have already reached the end and no more cost is incurred that means the cost incurred is zero in that case we check whether the state is already visited by checking whether the answer is not infinity in that case we can return the answer there and then else we can consider the key choices that were available to us so j belonged to id plus 1 all the way up to id plus k which is what we are doing here initializing that j in this range check whether it lies in the range of 1 to n so that the jump is valid if lies then we consider the answer from the jth index and can also add the cost required for that jump and after the answer is minimized over all the possible choices we will return it from the function so that the final answer is written after each state is updated the time complexity for this is let's see the states the number of unique states could be order n and different positions and the transitions are in all order k which is fixed here hence the overall time complexity would be order n times k okay that's it about this video if you found this useful or if you have any doubts or suggestions regarding this do let me know in the comments thank you